actually Maharaj told me to go and do Bhakti Shastri in MI. And uh, he said, you can be my servant for two weeks during that time. And I said, sure, Maharaj. And he said, okay, first, uh, your first job is tomorrow morning for breakfast, I want Muri. I said, what is Muri? <laughs> He said, don't worry, just go to shop, they'll tell you what is Muri. I said, okay, no problem. So I went, I asked, they gave me one back of Muri. I said, okay, job done. <laughs> and then Maharaj gave a class in the morning and we started going towards his room. He was staying in Vaishnava Academy, opposite to Goshala. And he said, you have my breakfast? I said, sure, Maharaj, I have it. <laughs> and, I, and I show it from my back. And it was like the plain Muri they, 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 they're selling in the shop. And he said, this is not Muri. I said, it's Muri, Maharaj. He said, no, it's not. I said, Maharaj, they told me this is Muri. <laughs> he said, you don't know anything about India. <laughs> I said, Muri means you have to fry it with spices and some nuts inside. I said, Maharaj, sorry. So can I go to shop and buy the ready one? He said, no. How am I going to eat this? It's like a made from the karmis. No, just forget about it. I'm not going to eat breakfast. And I was like, <clears throat> I said, no, no, I'll do something. He said, don't do anything. Just go to your room straight, immediately. <laughs> and I was almost crying in my room. And at that time, we were staying with two devotees from Africa, actually. And one of them, after like 15 minutes, came in the room running and said, Guru Maharaj is asking you in his room, come immediately. But get the Muri also. <laughs> so I went there and Maharaj looked at me and he said, Anyway, I'm sannyasi, I just have to do some austerities, give me this Muri. <laughs> and he started eating it like that, plain with water. That was his breakfast. And then maybe after eating two, two weeks, he was eating just Muri and, and water for breakfast. He said, It's getting too austere, we'll change the breakfast. <laughs> Uh, one time I went very early in the morning, like breakfast time, I went to his room and he looked at me and he said, so today I did 20 rounds before Mangalarti. What do you think about that? I said, well, Maharaj, that's like impossible for me. He said, really? I'm telling you, today I'm putting the standard for, standard for all my disciples. <coughs> But he was doing it like every day, it means that was one, once he was coming in Mayapur, generally it was taking maybe one or two days just to adjust a little bit and then he was saying, okay, now I'm back to my Mayapur standard. And that was, he'll go to sleep 7.30, he'll get up 1.30, two o'clock he'll start chanting. And after Mangalarati he'll go and he'll read for two, two and a half hours. So that was his schedule. And he was telling me, this give me spiritual energy for the whole year after that, till I come again to Mayapur. And one time, uh, I was just with my bike in front of the senior Brahmacharya Ashram where Maharaj was staying. And uh, like little before that, he told me, today I have lunch with uh, Jayadvaita Maharaj to the, in the house of Naresh for a pro, one Prabhupada disciple. So I said, yeah, sure. And Jayadvaita Maharaj came out and left. And then I went in the room of uh, Kadamba Kanal Maharaj and I said, Maharaj, what, what's happening? He said, yeah, I'm waiting for Jayadvaita Maharaj. We have to go for the lunch. I said, but Maharaj, I, I saw him leaving already. He said, what? Check in his room. And I immediately, I went, I checked. He said, he's not there. He said, so that means he's really ahead of me. I have to do something. And, and I told him, well, Maharaj, I have a bike. I can give you my bike. He said, but I, no, you, dr you drove me. <laughs> and he sat down behind me on the bike. And I was driving. And he was saying, faster. <laughs> Just go faster. <clears throat> and you know, drive Indian road is not so easy. So I was just like. And because there were so many holes and he was like saying, faster, oh! <laughs> anyway, go faster. <laughs> so we managed just, Jadveta Maharaj was just entering the house 
And we just stopped there and Kadama 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 just stayed next to him and he said, thank you. <laughs> he left inside. Anyway, many, many, many stories. I just wanted to, uh, to share maybe two more things because we are kind of out of time. So one thing is, one time Kadama 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 shared something with me I really liked. He said, if they ask me to do something, I don't like to say no. So this is like something in my life. If, if someone is asking me to do some service, I don't like to say no. So you try to do, do the same. So I think it's applicable for all disciples of Maharaj. Try to follow his, his mood. And uh, other thing is uh, we were in New York. And because one time, maybe you remember, in one Vyasa Puja, Kadamba Kanaya Maharaj, he was speaking that he wants all his disciples to be kind. Do you remember this? Yes, Puja. He was pushing this. He was saying, I want my disciples to, to be known as kind, to have good relationships between themselves and with the other devotees. So Maharaj was just leaving New York and me and another devotee, Matanga Prabhu, some of you know him. We entered the room of Maharaj. You know, Matanga, he, he, he's a very nice devotee, but sometimes he can be a little bit pushy with, with the devotees. So he was a manager of the kitchen for a short while, and some devotees complained a little bit. So Maharaj was just packing his luggage, and we were in his room. And he looked at us, and he said, Matanga, more kind. And then he looked at me, and he said, Tulasi, more aggressive. <laughs> So maybe I'm the only exception from the whole family. I can be aggressive. <laughs> and yeah, and now these last days that we spent with, with Maharaj, when he left, of course, very auspicious, some devotees were sharing. And I was thinking, like Maharaj, he took this great responsibility of being a spiritual master. That means example. Everybody is looking toward, toward you and he's expecting, okay, you have to show with your life, with your words, with everything, with your thoughts, ideal example. And when Maharaj left and, and I was thinking, okay, that's it. He did it. He did it. Like perfect life, perfect example. And then I was thinking, now the, the only thing is, he did his part, we have to do our part as well, as being ideal disciples. So that's the job we have to do. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. <laughs>